Hello everybody, I know that this is probably the first video that you probably would have seen that's not really something you'd be expecting, but honestly it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. It's just a simple point of view to see basically what it's kind of like driving not only just a Gladiator, but a purple one. And I really, I love the color honestly, it looks so good. So if it doesn't look that good in the video itself, then honestly, I swear, you gotta just see it in person. Uh, just, I figure a simple POV type of thing would be nice, just to show you also how well the Jeep Gladiator launch, uh, well, launch edition is just a little niche on top that kind of like sprinkles on ice cream, that kind of shit. But the Gladiator in general, how it handles. This one specifically is the Rubicon, and originally it did in fact say Rubicon on the hood. They remove that whenever they do wraps, just like how it would have also said gladiator right under the word jeep but that's just a sticker you can get that later all right let's get into this it's really simple and honestly this thing is so fun i went with the automatic just because i honestly plan on doing more with this channel than just a truck and i very much would love to actually be able to uh tow stuff and the Rubicon itself is rated for about 7,000 pounds towing, which is fantastic. Because that might even let me do an aluminum, like, in an in enclosed a trailer, something like that. But, yeah, we can just drive down, we'll be able to explore, see what, just what in general is just nice. Just Android Auto, it's in general like that. And it, it's just, it's a fantastic vehicle. Like, it handles fine. The, what I said in my video about the uh, about it essentially being a sequential shifter, if it's in manual, like, I'll show you. You might even be able to see it right now. Like, I just put it in manual. So if I gun it and I want to shift, I pull back and you saw that it shifted down. And push it up to shift up. And it handles the bumps fantastically. Now, there isn't really anybody here but I honestly just, this is just, this is a vehicle that, I forgot that it was in manual. I am honestly stupid. I was wondering why it was going up so high. Uh, sorry, um, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed and that's for, that would be in reference to when you're shopping for tools at Build-A-Bear. It just don't work out, like seriously. Um, but yeah, maybe it might be good. I put it back in automatic, so I'm just gonna switch around here, honestly. Um, I honestly have no idea, not, like, jack shit of where I'm going. I just want to make sure I'm not gonna hit anybody or some shit like that. But I found this nice little path when I was trying to do this video, like, a week ago. Um, and in general, it, it seemed like it was just a nice, rural, like, low traffic, out of the way of the city kind of path so I figured it would be kind of cool if I did these point of view videos and I'd like to do it on more than just the gladiator but that means that I would need to get other vehicles now honestly I I was actually looking at other things I was thinking maybe the AC Cobra that would be nice I've honestly been saving up my money for a very long time for something nice and sporty and I just feel like it would be something I could enjoy and if I tied it into YouTube it could be something I could really have fun with. Like, do the whole, have fun with doing something you love doing. And it's that whole thing of you'll never work a day in your life if you are doing something that you truly love doing. And that's what I hope to do with this car YouTube channel. And I honestly was not certain on what all of this was going to be like, but every once in a while I kept on checking back on the channel for the video I posted where it was the five things I don't like about the Gladiator. And I was actually surprised that the sub count was still going up, albeit a little, it was still going up. So that honestly gave me some motivation to uh, do this video. And so far, I'm, I don't even know how many minutes I'm into this, but I just am having fun. It's just, it's fun. That's bottom line. Um, and as for when it comes to the vehicles that I've thought about, Yes, the AC Cobra, 1965, 66, 67, the little go-kart looking motherfucker. Um, the other one being a Dodge Viper, considering you can get the first generation, or close to the first years even, for about uh, 40 grand, which is about the same si uh, about the same price as the AC Cobra. Uh, and then the third option is a little bit off of the off of those two, 
but it's kind of on the other end of the spectrum where it's a low priced car and then I can have a lot of fun building it up, which is the uh, the NA Miatas, which is just fantastic because honestly, I like cars that look like little golf carts or not golf carts, go karts. I'm my bad. I'm trying to drive, but this is the first one of these things I'm doing, so you know. Um, but yeah, it just it would be something I could get that would be fun and I could just build it up from there. So if you want to see more stuff like this and more stuff with the Gladiator and whatever car to come in the future, I would very much absolutely love it if you guys hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get just to 1,000 subscribers on this channel in general and I have not been trying to push it by using the Reddit channel because I feel like that would be an artificial inflation to, the, to this one and it wouldn't really help it in the long run. It'd be more so a sudden, like a sudden analytic burst which would not turn out well. Uh, I just feel like if people click on the channel because they like what they see, instead of me telling them go over here and click that, then I feel like people will enjoy the channel and it'll have a much like healthier growth of itself because it'll be growing based on itself, not because I'm saying go over here and click that with using people that already like my stuff on like the funny stuff on the Reddit channel. Um, but this, this I just, I wanna have fun with. I wanna really have this be something I can do that I wanna do and that I can do for a long time because this is, I would love for this to be initially a hobby that turns into a career because I've seen all of these guys like Savage Garage, Stradman, Daily Driven Exotics, all of those guys. But I honestly never pictured up until recently that maybe I could give it a shot at doing this. So let's give it a shot at doing this, okay? to this being a point of view type of video, you also might get to see just how stupid drivers in Montgomery County, Maryland could be. Because honestly, I swear, some of them just walked in, said, uh, can you please give me a driver's license? And the people behind the counter said, okay, here you go. Because honestly, I, I swear, there's been some dumb people lately. And like, I'm not even kidding. Initially, I was, oh look, yeah, see, there's another car, duck boat. That car, and specifically, I've seen at the Rockville Auto Show, which is something I've loved going to since I was a kid for uh, like so many years. That guy has been there every single year uh, for as long as I can remember. And that's one of my favorite cars to see. It just, in general, there's so many different cars you expect to see, but you never expect to see the car boat, which that's not just a, an aesthetic design. It actually functions. It has a little tiny propeller on the back and it is, it is both the most fun and entertaining little piece of machinery that I, I could have ever seen there. Like it's honestly, it's honestly fantastic. And I would love to meet the guy. Like I would just, I would love to. And if I remember correctly, before I saw the duck boat, when I, or not the duck boat, the car boat, when I was uh, about to do this video, there was a, a nice dark gray McLaren where I believe I've seen the guy around before because he usually goes to my local Starbucks. And it would be great if I could see his car on the road. Like, it would just be awesome. See 
obviously the Gladiator just handles all of these bumps fantastic because of the Fox shocks that come factory with it. I do plan on, however, getting a, uh, a three and a half inch lift the next time I go in to get my oil changed because the guys at my local dealer are just some of the some of the best people. And funny enough, the manager actually is a frequent at my retail job. Um, and he, he's just he's just a great guy to talk to. So he remember uh, he told me basically, you come in, we'll hook you up, and you'll be all set to go. It would be great if I could even feature some of the, the stuff that they do there on the channel. So if you do want to see stuff like that, please let me know down below about stuff you want to see and would like to see in the future. And I will definitely read all the comments that come in. Remember, if I keep on going, I know I'm going to hit some single bridge, uh, some single lane bridges. And there, are, I was not expecting them the first time, so this time I am ready for them because they're not just single uh, bridges, but they're also those little hump ones. So you go up and down a little bit and you're in a single lane, so you kind of have to mentally prepare yourself. Jesus, I was not expecting it to hit that, there to be this many bumps on the road. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, I, I might, I'm actually, this, the Gladiator is 5,500 pounds. So on a downward slope, you don't even need to hit the gas to accelerate. You just start picking up pace. So. Sometimes you actually have to like hold on to the brake so you don't just keep speeding up and then lose control. Which is, oh God, I, I'm just, okay, so it's 50 miles an hour here. So we're doing fine. If you do have any questions about the Gladiator, I would be more than happy to answer them. Just like, just anything in general, really, like gas mileage, what it's like uh, just being able to drive this, which is more so the reason you clicked on this video. But still, I love, I love talking to people about cars, really. That's like, that's a way to help me really get out of my shell is with cars, because normally, I am, I, normally I'm a shy shit, but I just feel like with cars, you have this common ground when you drive, you get this nice relaxed feeling and you just feel all around just, it's like a four wheeled version of the floating on a river, um, like hypnotism stuff, I guess. And depending on what vehicle you got, you can either really, you can either do some off-roading stuff or if I was in something sporty, this road would really be something that I could work with, with the curves and everything. And I feel like I could have some whole lot of fun, so I'm honestly gonna wanna remember this route and come back to it later for certain. And when it comes to actually needing everything to be quiet, well, the only downside about the mirrors is that it's only one touch down for the front two mirrors. Yeah, see, this was those little one lanes. You gotta kinda be careful with that in general, but other than that, you're actually doing pretty good. This has a nice, nice scenic path. And uh, I really, I really do hope to come back here because I honestly, I really do like this area. It's just one of those places you can just cruise along and it's, it's relaxing. I will tell you that. It's uh, very, very relaxing. Only thing I could imagine be a little nerve-wracking is the car coming the other way because you don't exactly have all that room, and geez, I might actually want to figure out where I can go because I remember I drove down here and there was a little area where I could turn around, which is nice. Yeah, see here's you got. Okay, so this is gonna be. Oh, actually no, we got a wide area. Nice. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this area to turn around and I'll probably come back later in the future and actually drive down that path 
because I'm actually kind of curious about what is down that way. I've never been, like, I've never been farther than this little intersection, but I very much do want to come back, and I will come back in the future. And I very much like to see what everyone thinks of this type of video, because I love to do this for a lot of other vehicles. I love to do this with a lot of other cars, and uh, people liking me doing this kind of stuff, kind of a reassurance that I'm doing the right thing. <sighs> um, I just, I want to have fun. And this is one of the outlets that I feel like I can have a whole lot of fun. And I hope to have more fun in the future, especially considering I already have uh, track plans on my itinerary for 2021, like late 2021 or 2022. That would be absolutely awesome. <sighs> There's a shit ton of flies. And with that, that will have to be it with this point of view for the 2020 Jeep Gladiator launch edition in my purple that I've liked. In honesty, in all honesty, the color, I didn't originally search out to find it. I actually found it from Stradman's videos. Just because the purple looked so good, I was thinking, okay, that is something I would like. And so, here we are. And honestly, it's thanks to the guys on the Reddit channel, all the support everybody's been giving me on that, that I've been able to do this. Because, to be honest, I would still be just in the retail job working paycheck to paycheck uh, without the support that everybody has given me on this, on the Reddit videos. And I hope that that continues to these car videos because I would be so happy to be able to do all of this stuff in the future. So if you guys want to be absolutely amazing, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment down below of stuff you would love to see. I would love to hear what people got to say. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. GoPro, stop recording.